Hey everybody, this is Joe, Joe's Premium Firewood, coming to you live Saturday, June 10th, 2023. I just had a new customer text me, one of my current customers, a loyal customer referred him to me, and he lives local at um, Gun Lake, so he ordered a, a normal truckload or a third of a cord or a face cord of summer campfire wood. So I am back here, and as you seen from the thumbnail, or from the picture I posted yesterday, my truck's back, my baby's back, back ready to go to work, I'm running better than ever, and uh, so I'm going to load it up with, I'm going to throw the uh, dry stuff up into here, the dry stuff up in the, fr up in the front, and we haven't had rain, measurable rain in like uh, th over three weeks, th even some of these pieces on the bottom are starting to dry out. But well, there isn't that much left. This is all I got left of the summer campfire wood. And usually the, the, the stuff on the border is all dry. So I'm going to put most of the dry stuff, like I say, up in the front and then the rest back in here. And you can see there's not too much debris in here right now. I'm keeping it clean. Also, I got this package here. It just said to current resident. So I'm going to use this knife that Rogala gave me. Give me a holla, Rogala. I'm going to use this knife after I get the truck loaded. And uh, we'll open that up. So you're gonna have to stay tuned for that. Whoa, we just got some. Uh, we got some stars. Is that you? Is that you, uh, Daryl? Appreciate it. There's Joe Curse. How you doing? Well, let me uh, let me set this up. But yeah, the truck it was a starter. He uh, he put in a refurbished starter, and he doesn't know why it went bad. But what he did, he did credit me the fifty dollars he charged me for the part. And then I had to uh, buy a whole new, brand new starter. You know, the, the, the repairs, the repairs cost me, uh, it cost me $950. But he also re-seared the, re uh, sealed the re-axle, put new rear brakes on it, changed the oil, rotated the tires. And then, of course, had to do the starter, which he had to pay, I had to pay the labor for that. So, like I said, I got, I got Rogala's knife. I got a mystery package. It just says to current address. Doesn't have anybody's names on, name on it. So, well, since I'm a current, I, I'm a current resident. I'll open it, but I'll set it over here for now, and we'll get that. We'll open it up after after I get the truck loaded, which should take me I don't know about 15 minutes. What I planned on doing this morning, I I have a there's a piece of hickory right there. But I I planned on going over to a guy's house. One of my other customers referred it. He had some trees taken down, and some of it looked like oak that was had the bark peeling off, and it was like this this diameter. It was like cut up in like I don't know four four foot lengths. You know how tree surfaces are, how they cut the wood, but it's not too far from here. I was gonna go do that, but you know since uh, I just spent 950 on this, and. Uh, I gave uh, Mike $400 for his labor for the two days he worked for me. And then I paid my brother um, $150, and I had to pay Phil $200. So right now I'm, i got only a couple hundred dollars to my name. But uh, this is fixed, and those guys are paid off. I still owe Phil $400, and I owe Nate $500. But... Uh, I had a good good sales this week. As of yesterday, before this, I figured out so far this week I've had eighteen hundred dollars in sales for, for, since Monday. But like I said, I've had to pay my brother and Mike to help me with deliveries. So yeah, wait, I paid Mike four sixty this week. I forgot I paid him to do the, a delivery with me. Pine is fine. So basically, the nineteen hundred. And I see what was that? That's nineteen hundred and seventy-five dollars in sales this week. That's not bad for uh, the first week of June. And some of it was uh, winter orders and no restaurant orders. But I will have to go to the restaurant next week because uh, they they go through a, a Joe Court about once a month. The last time we delivered to them was on May eighteenth. So yeah, this this cherry's nice and dry. He's gonna like this, but. If I get like this maple that's on the bottom, we'll put this here on the back, and I'll go over it with the customer when I get there and say, "Hey, you want to keep these separate here when we stack it? Let's just keep." But 
like I say, it hasn't rained in a while, and the, most of the pile's down, so these pieces, like this hard maple, has been getting some air, some sun. Although it is supposed to rain tomorrow, we need it really bad. So, let me get, what I'll do is I'll just put like a row of this ugly, wet stuff. And uh, unless he's going to be burning, this is probably enough to last him all summer easily. But unless he plans on burning it all in a week, there's no, I, I see no problem sending these uh, wet pieces. Yeah, they're a little ugly. They do have some some mold on them, fungus. But it'll dry out once it's properly stored. And uh, this is the last time I'm doing this. I've already got boards set out down there. When we refill this area up, we're just going to have to spend the time to uh, stack it. You know, we don't get paid for stacking it here, just at the customers, but this is not how, do not like drying the stuff like this, because it just doesn't dry very, very well. i get some more of this dry stuff up there. But yeah, I, I was, like I say, I was going to go over to that customer's and cut some wood for you today. I haven't ran a saw in a long time, but now, now I'm out here, I'm out here doing this and I'm already getting tired. You know, I am so weak, but one, one good thing, ever since my colonoscopy, I got my appetite back and I weighed in at the colonoscopy at 211 pounds. When I went to the doctor, when I went to my uh, doctor appointment, on Wednesday, I weighed 226, so I've gained 15 pounds in like 10 days or whatever, or in like two weeks, three weeks. So, but I, I don't think it's muscle. I might just be adding, adding my belly back, but yeah, it's nice It's nice losing all this weight, but not how I lost it. Because I, like I say, I'm still really weak. And this is as fast as I'm moving. Like I said, I'm trying to talk to you. And I don't know if you can hear me when I turn my head away because sometimes this uh, antenna or, or whatever from the microphone loses the signal. But yeah, there's probably maybe one full cord here, maybe a little less that's left. And then when it's gone, it's gone. I still got some stuff in the driveway. I just started selling some cherry that I got down down uh, under the power lines. But then I'm going to have to tap into bay number one. So Mike's going to have to keep bringing, cutting and bringing it to me. That's lightweight. That means it's dry. If it feels heavy, that means it's still kind of wet. Here's a piece of oak. Now you can tell that's dry. But it's just mixed hardwoods here, although there is some pine. Pine is fine. Pine is fine for firewood. You don't need hickory. You don't need, you know, black locust. Ooh. Now this is another piece of hickory, and it still it feels heavy. I'm going to put it here on the back. I think Nate... Nate brought me a couple of them. This stuff's been here since like the fall of 2021. But when you don't store it properly for drying, they don't dry. I thought about calling Zach, seeing if he wanted. Oh, dang it. Can't lose, can't lose Rogala's knife. Fell into the wood pile. Now I got to dig it out. I need to put this here. I'll set this package over here. Now I got to dig through this pile and find the knife he gave me. I don't want to lose it before I've not, I haven't even used it yet. Regala. And the package is from Indiana. So that's where Regala is. Maybe he sent me something. There it is. 
There it is. Don't want to lose that, Rogala. Don't want to lose that, Rogala. You watching that, Miriam? Dead be watching? Go over and see how many we got watching. We got any thumbs up? We got 24 watching. Keep watching, folks. Oh. Ever back. I'm so glad to have you back. Driving my mom's Buick. I can barely crawl in, in and out of that thing. It's so small, so low to the ground. So I like I like pickup trucks. So I went over to uh, the customer we delivered to on Monday. Has a, a 911 Porsche. And uh, D Dimitri, a, a, another firewood guy out of New York, has been trying me to hound the guy to sell it to him. It's a 1988 911 Porsche Carrera, and he let me take a test drive. I haven't drove a stick since uh, I sold my BMW in 1993. Of course, uh, I stalled it when I first started. When I first put it in gear, tried to go into first gear, and like I say, I drove the BMW in 30 years, a stick shift, so, but then, uh, my second try, I got it, got it into gear. I didn't go past uh, third gear. There was four gears in it. was really fast. He took me for a ride, and it had it up to like 80 miles an hour, like nothing, in, in third gear. <clears throat> kind of, kind of scared me a little bit. You betting on the horses today, Daryl? You betting on the horse race today? That the Belmont Stakes? That dry stuff up there. It's funny, people say this isn't even a face cord, you know, a normal truckload. How many of these I've delivered over the years? They say it, and they're like, "What? What's the Joe cord? Is that like one one quarter of a cord?" No, it's a ten foot by four foot stack. It's like forty two percent of a cord. Two Joe cords is about eighty five percent. I'm gonna grab this stuff that's on the ground here. I want to fill up this row, and then I'll then then I can just throw everything. I can throw everything up to the front. Watching Patty. Is this how you guys load trucks, or you just do it on the conveyor, or put them in the totes? You and Jeffrey out in New York. How's the air quality out east? Anybody in Pennsylvania? Can you? Can you breathe? Them pesky Canadians keep sending us that forest fire air from up in Quebec. And what's their dear leader doing? Mr. Soy Boy Trudeau. Is he even trying to put them out? Or are they just letting them burn? This has been ruining sunsets here. I don't I don't like those hazy hazy sunsets where it turns the the sun orange. You know? Oh. Yeah, I posted a video this morning got the haters riled up. It was uh, me cutting a, a branch out of a tree while I was up in a ladder for a customer back in 2017. And, uh, yeah, I know it's not safe, and ladders and chainsaws don't mix, but it wasn't that big a limb. Yeah, it was kind of dangerous, especially since I was there by myself. The customer wasn't home. But I think he he paid me to cut it down, and I kept the wood. I just had to wheelbarrow it to the car. I think, he, if I can remember correctly, he paid me like 25 bucks for the wood, or to cut it down, because the branches were laying 
were hanging way down into his yard but they were up so high in the tree I couldn't reach them without without going on a ladder and you ain't gonna see me climbing a tree yeah I probably should have strapped the ladder to there and uh, I know my brother one time he was out in the woods cutting some dry oak branches on the ladder and he cut the branch and it fell down fell down and kicked came back and into the ladder and damaged the ladder it didn't knock it down he was half on the ladder and half on in the tree so yeah I know it's dangerous but sometimes you got to do what you got to do to get the job. and we don't games. I don't I don't anyways most most of my don't either they start playing games they get fired now I just got to get the dry stuff up front because I think th this back row this is enough of this ugly stuff The guy, the guy messaged me, said he wanted one, one quarter of a cord. Well, this is one third of a face cord, or some people in the South call it Rick. I'm like, who's Rick? Who's Rick? Give him some of this kindling. Good for starting a fire. These uh, wild blackberries are starting to come up. Usually about the July, they're ready. Except pricklers on them. Oh, yeah. Truck is back. First delivery the truck. Brand starter in there. Should be good for six months until I need a. Or probably till October when I need another oil change. And then I'm going to buy new tires for it. Maybe have the exhaust manifold needs to be replaced. That's going to be about a twelve, fifteen hundred dollars 1300 Pine is fine. Oak cherry bark, more pine. I, I didn't even ask him. Let's assume this is for uh, campfire wood. I mean, I, most most people order this time, of year. but I have been having winter orders. But I highly doubt, since he lives on Gun Lake, that ordering winter wood. But you know, knowing about, you know what they say, assuming, assuming makes the ass out of you and me. Starting to get full. We'll have that third of cord in there at any time. And I haven't decided on uh, YouTube. Everybody's having their contest, so uh, how fast can you split, split a third of a cord? Everybody's measuring all out. When I do that contest, I'll just load up my truck like this and know that it's a third of a cord. Because six and a half foot bed, slightly above the sides. I got the back row stack, you know, to, so you can see uh, we can get the, that stuff put on the bottom of the stack or if he's got a rack or wherever that's where that would go get these secure I don't want to unsecure load don't need pieces falling out even though he's only about eight miles away from me. but yep you know last week my sales were three hundred and eighty three dollars this week with this truckload <laughs> 
it will be nineteen hundred and seventy five dollars in sales and the week before last I think I had another right before Memorial Day I sold another I don't know fifteen hundred dollars worth but it takes it you know and they and they were until today they were all repeat customers buying from me so when you got this many loyal customers <coughs> that keep you busy you don't have to advertise <coughs> my customers to do that because like I say I told you at the beginning that this order is from a referral I'll have to find out when I deliver to him who referred me so I can thank them you know word of mouth it's a good way to sell a product if you produce a good product folks you know the haters will say this is junk just because of some of this wet stuff here it'll burn it'll burn just let it just we're gonna stack this right here on the back on the bottom that in the front is bone dry by the time he gets to this at the end of summer or in the fall be go <clears throat> we're almost there folks and I got got to do an unboxing you're not gonna miss that cuz <coughs> it's a mystery box <coughs> excuse me it's addressed to current resident so there's no name so who knows who it's supposed to be for so we're about to find out what's in there there's your third of a cord folks <sighs> one third of a cord base cord four foot by eight stack average length 16 inches do the math I believe that's like 41.6 cubic feet no. So, you know, with the thousands I've delivered over the years, I guarantee you this pine is fine. Eight foot rack. Might be a little short, huh? you know. Might be a little more. But that's why I advertise. Well, what I, I don't advertise. I just I send them a picture and I say that this, this is the equivalent, the equivalent of a face cord. And that's where it should be. 140 for the wood, 35 for delivery, and he's not that far away. So make sure that. Oh, get them in there. So got this box to do. I'd say, I'd say we're there. Let's just eyeball the loads and. Save yourself a bunch of time. So I got the box here. Let me, uh, show you the load. Oh yeah, looks like you can see it. Looks like you can see it. We got wow, we got 45 watching. So let's open up the mystery box. Let's open it up. Let you guys look at the truck and look at the load. Uh, find out what's in here. Get the knife. So current resident has our address has our phone number on here and it just says it uh, from oh Jason Nellis in Greenwood Indiana so Jason and this might not even be for me we'll find out maybe it's just some random thing Ooh, this knife works good Rogala This is how you open it. You know how I was always was struggling with them, uh, with them scissors. All right. Well, more floodlights. We don't have any floodlights here, so that's what it is. What a bummer. I was hoping it'd be Rogala sending me some uh, smoked whitefish that he said he was going to get me. What's the deal, Rogala? Want some whitefish? So, 
Let's see. I don't want to cut my finger. Figure out how to shut this. But anyway, I want to go ahead and do that delivery. You see what's in the box, those uh, floodlights. And uh, I told the customer I'd be at there at around 10.30. I think that's what time it is now. So I, I don't want, I want to be on time as always. So I'm going to head out of here. Thanks, everybody, for hitting the thumbs up. Thank you, Daryl, for the stars. I do appreciate it. You guys enjoy the rest of your Saturday. We'll see you on the next one.